hi guys uh, welcome back to another video on my channel today we're going to go over meta table hooks i guess so i'm going to use well we're going to bypass the kick function not the function but yeah, i show you just wait we're going to because if we're going to take like game dot players dot local player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed and put it over sixteen, you get kicked no with no speed allowed, right? Well, we can hook the function as it is a walk speed check, but we can just bypass the kick if the game you're going to bypass doesn't use a function so let's bypass the kick I'm going to use synapse for this video and visual studio code to write the script so let's jump right into it so first off I'm going to open a new incognito tab and write um, x dot synapse dot two s oh uh, slash docs. We can see it is there. Uh, we're going to use meta meta table hooks examples. We're not going to hook the f uh, index, we're going to hook the, um, the name call, like you see here. Uh, if not, yeah, we can do this. Um, game meta table, yeah, you understand. Okay, so let's try and find the... Uh, is it hooking function? No, table. I, yeah, okay. Get raw meta table. So, uh, let's open this. First off, we need to get the games meta table. By getting the games meta table, you can get every every table in the game, which means you can. As you can see, kick is a kick is basically a table. You can bypass it by writing code, which we're going to use, and which we're going to do too. So yeah, kick is a is a meta table, um, and we're going to get the raw meta table of the game. And get the uh, uh, method of the of the kick. We can just do this now. Uh, local mt equals game. No, not game. Get raw meta table. And if you pass game here, you get a games meta table. Um, we can also do uh, is read only I think it is yeah is read only is read oh it's set set is set read only and set read only empty and false now we can edit the meta table now we can get we can index the we first we can do um, local old old mt equals mt dot underscore underscore name call it's not a function by the way and now uh, that we can just pass this so it doesn't break the script now we can do 
mt dot underscore underscore name curl equals equals new c closure it's like really hard to write that uh, yeah like that and you can pass a function function there self and dot 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 it's the argument and you pass under so now we can do at least return old empty self dot 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 and we can put this to true now let's get the function or the method uh, being used for the kick because basically the method method table is the um, local player you I can write that. you can see that it says local player here it's like game dot uh, and yeah like that uh, let's say okay this is the table uh, in Roblox scripts this is being a table right so when you're doing like this kick hello you basically just um, We're in this. Uh, okay, le let me explain it this way then. We're indexing the game because it's game dot players dot local player, and we're getting the method kick as we're using this, right? So by using this, you can. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We're indexing the game uh, table and. Uh, we're going to change the the kick method table. Uh, yeah, you understand. Um, so let's continue. Uh, this is be sure to use new C closure because it's safer. Um, now we can do local method equals get calling get is it get name calling method I think it is get get name name call method is it a get name call method okay it's not like I always know everything but yeah so good to just use this as there isn't any syntax for it so now we can do if method equals kick then and now we're going to check if the name call method which is, which is basically a colon kick uh, if that's kick then this happens okay now we can do uh, let's say print hello if something's if something changes if this fires basically now we can do wait 9 E9 and return nil. And let's say hello YouTube, like that, right? Okay, so let's go over what we did. We got a raw meta table of the game, we uh, made the meta, meta table read uh, not read only, writable. Uh, we we got the um, old meta table 
uh, we changing the meta table we are returning the meta table the old meta table so it doesn't break but this saves and now we're go now we're let's say uh, we're making the script read only so we doesn't break other scripts um yeah and this should basically just work so i can fast show you how how and if it actually kicks you game the players the global player that character dot human knight dot work speed equals 20 then i guess and as you can see you get kicked S speed no allowed now i'm just going to join the place again it's the same place I can prove it to you by looking at the script again. Um, yeah, it's the same. Now we can execute it. I can press the. I got it to a keybind, so I can just press end, and it executed. Not. Oh, no, that that's not my script. I think. Yeah, that's not my script. Okay. Um, now we can change this to, I guess, 200 if we want. And execute. And you can see it says, hello YouTube. It goes into an um, inverted loop and returns nothing. And uh, yeah. Now we can see we are super fast, like Flash, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, that's basically it for today. I haven't been really coding for some time now. So I'm probably going to learn some more MetaSable and, and show you guys basically what what you actually can do with all of this stuff remember to like share and subscribe and see you in the next video bye